Hello, everybody, and welcome to another unbelievable episode of Vector Crush. What I want to talk to you guys about today is how to create what's known as a blend shape in Maya. I'm currently using Maya 2008, and this is a character from my upcoming short film, The Telltale Heart, The Larynx Edition. I'm redoing, or rather, doing a reinterpretation of Edgar Allan Poe's classic horror uh, f uh, poem called The Telltale Heart. It's one of my favorite stories, and I thought I would do one that's a little creepier than his, but use more cartoony characters and just make it, you know, kind of fun. Now, what I'm doing is I'm scrolling over, and I'm going to show you that I have all these different shapes for the character's face. And when you do this, you're able to then use sliders to have the character go in between these different states. So each one of these guys can be blended, hence the term blend shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a brand new blend shape after I show you how the blend shapes actually work on this character. So this is the old man from the, uh, the poem or the short story. And the problem with him and the reason that the person uh, wants to kill him is because he has this wacky eye. So with this eye, um, you know, this is what drives the man crazy. And it's really going to be a very critical element in the story. But anyway, I'm going to go to my animation editors under the window menu. And I'm going to choose to grab the blend shape. And uh, as you see here, I have these sliders. I'm going to put these on a horizontal fashion. And I will resize this window a little bit. As you can see here, every time I duplicated this character, I was able to name it something and then change the position of the vertices in the character's face. And don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how I did that in just a moment. But as you can see, with the smile slider, I can move this back and forth and the character smiles, his brows will relax, his mouth will close, he'll scream. The scream is very important in this movie. His eyes get really wide. And the fun thing when you're doing this and you're an animator is that you can even go in this window and just move it around and go, hey, 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 who, who's there? Who, who, who's there? Who's there? So as you can see, I, I really have a lot of fun animating and uh, bringing these characters to life. So you have the brows scared. The eyes could be closed. You can make an O shape and anything that you need. The eyes can move, as you can see here. All right, so enough talking. I'm going to delete all these blend shapes because I can bring them back at any time. So here's how it works. Here's the main character. This is my main character. What I'm going to do is press on my keyboard the command or control key to duplicate them. And then I'm going to press W so I can move him over. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in. And as you can see here, I can name this poly surface in my channels. So I'm in my attribute editor and I'm going to just call this one. Let's think. Um, let me think. I'll call it nose. I'm going to move his nose up so it's like he's smelling something. So I'll call it nose twitch or whatever. So I'm going to just call it nose for now. And then what I can do is I can right click on the character to bring up the menu, which allows me to choose the component that I want to edit. So let's say I want to move some faces around, which are called polygons as well. So I can grab some of these faces and then I can move them up a little bit like so. So he can give me a kind of, I'm smelling thing. So his nose is going to move up and I can move his nostrils up so he can you know, do this kind of thing. So I'll move it up like so. And I'm going to then save that. So this character now has a brand new blend shape. So I'll go back to object mode by right clicking on him. And here's the nose up and here's the nose normal. So how do you actually make a blend shape? Well, what you have to do is always remember one thing. Choose your main character last. So I'll click on this guy and this one and this one. As a matter of fact, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just make blend shapes based on the, the very brand new one I just made, just in case you want to see exactly how it works. You click on the new blend shape and you hold the shift key down and you click on your original character. And then you go to your animation editors, choose blend shape, then go to edit, create blend shape. If you did it right, you will have the name of your slider here. And I can click anywhere to deselect that. And I can zoom in on my character. And I can use the slider. 
And look at that, his nose twitches now. And I can control that, so now he's sniffing things. And I can animate that and keyframe it. Now let me tell you how blend shapes can go wrong. The rule pretty much is that the character cannot be really modified. So let's say that I decide to add some more wrinkles to this character after I've made all these blend shapes. Well, the, the, the mesh has to have the same amount of everything. So if there's a certain amount of points in this character or vertices, it has to match. So you really can't modify it. So the rule of thumb is make your character, finalize that character, and then make the blend shapes. So that is pretty much it. I know that was kind of fast, but I just wanted to give you an idea as to how blend shapes work and why you want to create them for animation inside of Maya. So, until the next Vector Crush, I'll talk to you guys later. And have a great 2009. Peace.